Hello and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 47. In this video, I will be taking apart an old portable oscilloscope. This is a Tektronix Model 212. I have two of these. The other one works and is used. This one does not work. It is pretty much beyond repair. All of the lettering is worn off on the front here. It's got some missing knobs and there are other issues with it. And it doesn't trace either. So let's take a look at this thing. First, let's look at the probes. So there's two probes. Here's one of them. And then here's where the power cord stores. Anyway, so let's take a look inside. I gotta unwrap the cord to get out a couple of screws. I should probably take the other probe out too. Now you can see that yellow wire there is the ground wire for the second probe. The first one is missing that wire. There were also clips that would go on the end of these probes that this one's missing. Now this top board was not connected properly and that wasn't actually the problem because I had been in here before quite some time ago. Now here you can see the cathode ray tube. Now this uses a static deflector for moving the beam. Unlike in a television set or an old CRT television set where the beam was deflected magnetically. Ooh, take a look at this. See that resistor pack looks kind of familiar. Same type as used on that tachometer that I fixed. Well, I'm going to disconnect this board and set it aside and let's go further in. Try to lift the tube out of here. By the way, here's a better look at the control panel on the side. They're just standard oscilloscope controls. There's a little nylon screw here at the bottom. Another thing to point out here is 220 to 250 volts, 48 to 52 hertz. Either this thing had been converted or the bottom isn't the original. Now 
I just need to disconnect this harness from the back. Carefully. Here's a quick look at the filter that was in front of the CRT. Now the tube is disconnected. And there it is, tiny little thing. A little closer view of the back. Now we can look at the rest of the goodies in here. The circuitry isn't too terribly complex. This does date back to the 1970s. Now we'll take the control panel side out. I find it pretty interesting how modular this whole thing is considering its age. Here's a closer look at the board that was on top. Here's a date on the board. 1972. Here's the power switch. Closer look on this, this is the power supply board. Now we have the control panel as a module. Take a little closer look at this, see if there's anything on here that's worth looking at. There are a few parts that I am going to save from this thing. I am definitely going to keep the CRT. I will be keeping some of these potentiometers. There's a 20K and a 50K. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these switches yet, but I am going to keep the knobs. Actually, let's see if we can get a little further into this. A little smaller bit. Take these knobs off, pry them off carefully.
I wonder what else is holding us together. There were two other screws that I didn't see. One here and one here. And now we have a better look at this board. There's a bunch of adjustments here hidden. <laughs> I'm starting to think this scope isn't digital. Here's a cool looking chip. So there we have it, inside an old solid state oscilloscope. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.